Today I'm going to show you how to draw a dog using Sketchbook Pro and the mirror feature. So let's start this up. I wanted to show you guys how to draw a really easy uh, dog. So we're going to turn on the mirror mode for symmetry and Y in Sketchbook Pro. Choose a color and we're going to start doing um, our dog or our generic canine. So we start drawing a circle but the symmetry tool is on so you can draw one side of it. So just draw like a curve and it'll create a circle for you. Then we're going to draw a smaller circle inside the big circle. That will be our muzzle. And then we go over it to make it a little bit darker. And then we're going to draw the bottom part of where the eyes are going to rest. Remember, you don't have to make the lines really dark. Just make them light. And then we're going to draw the upper part of where the eyes are going to go, the top part of the eyes. So these are all guidelines. And then we're going to start drawing the cheeks from the top part of where the eyes would end up all the way to the about a little bit lower than midway on the bottom circle. And you can make it bigger or smaller. I just gave it sort of small cheeks because it works out for what I want to draw. And we're going to draw the nose by drawing a curve on the top right underneath where the circle is, the small circle, but you draw a curve and then you draw another curve on the bottom to connect the nose. So it sort of looks like a triangle but not as uh, sharp, but you can make it sharp if you want. Draw the lips on the bottom of the nose. Usually um, I start them where the other circle was ending. And that gives you an idea on where the uh, lips of the dog are going to go or the part of the muzzle, the bottom part of the muzzle. And then at the end of the muzzle we're going to draw the smile line. And we usually end that below the eye line. And you can make it as big or as short as you want. I like to make them bigger so it's happier. Then we're going to draw these little areas around the mouth. And it makes the mouth look even happier. And we're going to continue it down on the bottom by drawing the lines that are going to create the mouth. some teeth on the bottom which I just start off as cones and then create a line to give the idea of the bottom of the teeth. You can make them as big or as small as you want it does not matter. And then I start to go past certain lines to create a more defined bottom jaw. Now we're going to figure out where we want the eyes where I usually do them as an oval. You can make them circular, you can make them any shape you want, but if you start it off more as an oval, you can create a happier uh, look to the character. It works really well for cartoonier characters. And I usually create a line next to the eyes to give a starting point where the eyebrows are going to go. You don't have to but it makes it a lot easier for me to figure out where I'm going to put the eyebrows and you can make the eyebrows any shape you want depending on the look you're going for. I decided to arc them up to go with the expression of happy with the character. Going to add uh, lines under the eyes which is like a curved line to keep pushing the idea that the character is really happy and it's actually pushing a little bit up on the eyes so the line makes it look like uh, the bottom of the cheeks. Then we add another oval inside the eyes for the pupils. And because this is being mirrored, of course, it always draws it on the other side. I start drawing the upper eyelid and I make it a lot thicker on the top. It looks a lot nicer when you make the upper part thicker and then around the eye just keep it thin. You can keep the whole area around the eye thin if you want, it's just a preference choice. 
it's just a choice, I guess, on the style that you want to go for. I'm going to start drawing the ears. We're going to draw a triangular-like shape, but we're not going to keep it sharp at the end. We're going to round it out, and uh, we're going to make it come down and join right before it uh, turns into a full cheek. And just go over it to make the lines a little bit more defined. And then after you do the basic shape of the ear, you're going to want to create an upper part of the ear and a lower part. So the ear has a little bit more dimension than looking flat. And I usually do a curved line that connects to the top. And then you do the same thing on the bottom, but you make it smaller. I try to keep everything a little bit curved to avoid straight lines, since straight lines are not as organic on characters, and it just makes them look softer when you do curved lines. And for the inside of the ear, I usually either draw a line like this just to keep it simple to give the idea that the ear has a little bit of dimension or you can add a little bit of fluffies inside the ear. So that's your choice really. We're keeping it simple for this one. And then we're going to go over the eyebrows since we want to thicken them up a little bit and then just color them in to make them uh, darker. You can leave them uncolored since this is just a sketch. You can color the inside of the eyes as well. And then we're going to draw a line on the top of the nose and we keep it curved to give it the idea that the nose has a top, a flat area on the top, and then the bottom is going to be darkened in to give it the idea that the top part has a highlight. going to make the top flatter or rounder, it depends on what you want to do. You can keep it open and then add hair afterwards, but for now we're going to leave it without hair and we're going to go over this sketch, make the lines a bit more defined. And if you want a fluffier look, I like to add, it looks like little curved triangles at the end. You can add as many or as little as you want on the side, or you can leave these out. This just gives it the idea that it has fluffier cheeks. We're going to add some whisker dots. You can make them big, tiny. You pick it. It does not matter. And then we're going to give him whiskers. We can give him eyebrow whiskers as well if you want to add that. We're going to fill the inside of the mouth to create the idea that it has a tongue. And color the sides uh, darker so the tongue stands out. And then we go over the sketch. You can keep going over the sketch to make the outer line stand out more once you're happy with them. And then we're going to turn off the mirror for symmetry because we're going to want to add the highlights inside the eyes. And you don't want the highlights to be on the same side, so we had to turn symmetry off. 
and we just take the white pencil and we pencil the little highlights on the inside. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below and I hope this helped a little bit. You can pretty much use this for any animal. This is very easy to do on Sketchbook Pro using the Symmetry tool. Thank you for watching.